Uh, whatever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough to be doing it too with or upon, I'm Bushra on Blitz, and we're back for a little bit of love and affection in what is fast becoming the hot news topic of Blitz. The Object 263, an absolutely ferocious Tier XTD, one of the most crazy machines I've ever driven, uh, and, a, and a machine that indeed invites horrific tank driving because you can get so aggressive in this thing you leave yourself out in all manner of horrible situations um if you haven't checked out the sponsorship options and you want to sponsor the channel and keep tank reviews and different things going on we've got a great thing coming up in the next few days on view range by the way uh, you're going to love that uh, please do check out the patron link uh, you can see it there at the top of the youtube channel banner or if you're watching this on bushgrownblitz.com uh, it's there on the front page uh Patreon, PayPal, those kind of things. And also, uh, visit the channel because there's lots of stuff going up there. There's a new post every single day. Now, what's so good about this tank? The DPM is off the charts. You've got seven rounds a minute at 460 alpha. You have a whopping 200 and I think it's 93 millimeters of penetration on your AP and 330 on your APCR, which is very much like um, the heat on a T62A. You have a 0.32 dispersion weapon and a 2.3 second aim time. Um, it is legitimately fearsome. You've got a 50 kilometer an hour top speed and you have 30 degrees of traverse. It is like driving a unnerved tortoise with super speed and some of the most trollish armor ever. Watch this. That poor little Yag Panzer 100. We track him, we face hug, stop him from turning. Get another one into him before he turns, and we put three into him there nearly. We're about to get the third in. Uh, he was toast. I want to show you the armor, though. This is what is so interesting about this tank. Uh, you can see the gun mantlet. It's all spaced up top. This is with 268 millimeters of penetration, a 265 on a 62A. We switch to heat, 330. No issues, right? So it's all showing green. No problems to pen that stuff. Yeah, we're not penning Jack. Um, my good mate Hugh Jass is driving the 263 here, showing us exactly what's going on. See that red line down the left-hand side there? You can see when I switch to heat. There is a separate sheet of armor on the front of this tank. And that's one of the reasons why you're seeing pretty gray and green, but actually not penning. The real key here is the gun mantlet. Um, the mantlet can be penned occasionally if it's turned in the wrong direction, but none of that top area is a safe pen. And what you'll find a lot of people doing, and this is probably going to diminish the value of the tank, but people need to realize that you just simply cannot pen that upper area when the gun mantlet is down. If it is looking up in the air, then you'll be able to pen it. Occasionally you can pen around the gun or just below on the edges of the mantlet, but when you're in a fierce dogfight, the place to go for is either that engine deck just below the gun or the lower glacis, or ideally the sides, because the sides are wafer thin and it can be absolutely destroyed. But if you're punching it around the gun mantlet and the mantlet is pointing straight at you, you're in trouble. But it's an open deck. So if you actually show people the rear of the tank and they can get shots down in front of you with HE, even on a medium tank, you can see there full rolls of high explosive going straight through into the dump truck cabin, as uh, Big Wayne called it. Now here we are with Snake Eyes Warrior pushing hard down low on Winter Malinovka. <laughs> the best thing about this tank is the mobility, really. I mean, the, the DPM is incredible, but it would be pointless having that much DPM on a tank that couldn't move because it's not big, big alpha. It's not... 183 alpha or even 268 alpha the 268 has got 640 average alpha the, the 183 has 920 average alpha on its ap rounds the 460 average alpha on the 263 is quite low it is the lowest of all the tier x tds by a mile i mean your e3 is 640 as well um the yag has like 800 average alpha um they're all big alpha dogs this is a completely different kettle of fish this is a tank that relies on superb damage per minute numbers. 
and it can because it is very easy to follow mediums at 50 kilometers an hour. You can see it wiggling there just how much mobility it's got. And when you want to push and you want to smash, you can. And you can see we're going to come around here. There's a 62A there uh, that needs to be cleared. There's a 50M with him. Uh, Snake Eyes is going to push up on the left and I'm going to pound ground all around the bottom. He's in an IS-7. Uh, fairly, fairly fast medium, fairly, fairly fast TD. I mean, 50 kilometers an hour, the two of them. And we're going to push up this flank very, very hard. Now, the reason people probably don't realize with a tank like this just how much damage it does. So you see one of these in the field and you think it's a TD and it hits you for 460 and you're, you're like, well, big deal. The thing is, with a gun rammer, uh, adding 10% onto this thing, and you can't run vents in it, by the way, but you look, look at me here just reversing up on this 62A. Um, we're firing two rounds fewer a minute than that 62A. We're doing it at 460 alpha. I mean, he is getting absolutely roasted. Uh, with a gun rammer on this tank, you're running at 10%. So you're basically running 3,247 damage. Put another 320 on that. You're looking at 3,500 damage per minute. With um, running an adrenaline kick on it, uh, rations, all those kind of things, you're over 3,500 DPM straight up, just as a raw number when you walk into the field. So if you are aggressive with it, like I play it, uh, you can run up to people and do a little bit of hit point trading. So what, you lose 400, 500 hit points with a, a couple of um, tier nine hits on occasion. You can whack out 800 to 1,000 damage in the same amount of time. You can easily average two and a half to three K in this tank playing aggressively uh, if you so choose. And it's it's key. You can use, you, here's the thing. You don't need to run tanks like this super aggressively, but you can face hug in this tank and you can see this Yag Tiger, he's looking at my gun mantlet and thinking, that's clear, I can pen that gun mantlet, but he's not penning it and we're just gonna face hug him. You can face hug in this tank. It's a TD that you can face hug in. And a lot of tanks just can't pen you. They don't have the penetration numbers. The way to beat it is really get on its side because the sides are eggshells. Um, the sides are really, really, really thin eggshells. They're like 80 mil, something like that. And if you get seen from the side in this tank and you're not quick enough to react, you are going to get wrecked deluxe. It's snapshots better than the 268. I mean, it's not even close how much better this tank goes snapshotting. And the, the level of damage you can put in, you saw how quickly we pumped two shots in that kid there. Um, absolutely amazing. So I'm going to do one more game with this and talk you through it. We'll have a chat about it. Um, you're going to see it's a mastery. Obviously, low masteries on this tank because not a lot of people own it. Uh, we're going to pump out to the right very, very quickly. Snake's already there. He's in the 62A as is his want. He loves a good 62A. We're going to go very, very long because we are super quick. I mean, look how quick we are here. A lot of the TDs are still mucking around in spawn. They've got one medium up and we're pumping along at 50 kilometers an hour along the rail line. We're going to get into cover at the back before anyone gets there. So that's the agility factor, right? When we get there, we're going to set up behind trees. We'll be nigh on invisible and we'll get free shots down this gun line until they push up on us. I mean, they're not all going to go in. We don't know where that hit, but there you go. Um, there's a 183. Got good view on him. Switched up to APCR. Your pen numbers are low for a tier X TD, but you still got 290 pen with AP rounds. Um, and we're punching through the old Sense 7 and 1. He didn't know we were there until very recently. Uh, probably not his ideal thing to find out, but there you go. And now Snake's getting pushed on, so we're going to push up and help him. We're just letting camo reset there. You can see straight away I've angled. I don't know that there's someone there. I don't think there's someone there. But if you're in this tank and you're not angling, then you're doing it wrong. So we pump one into him there, straight through the back. We miss a couple of sitters here, and I forgot to change over from APCR, but whatever. Couldn't have hit him at a worse angle there, by the way. Um, there you go. <laughs> I've just touted how good the gun is. This gun's amazing, says Bushka. It only misses one in three. Um, off we go. Moving onwards and upwards. Snake's at the top of the hill there. There's an even Stevens. We've only lost two. 
but this feels when you're driving this tank and you're getting on a roll and you're really aggressive it feels like an absolute perler like you can just pump and be really really aggressive and you know what else felt like that for me when i first got it was the tortoise this feels like a super quick tortoise 0 0.32 dispersion uh you can't run vents sorry i forgot about that you can't run vents um but it's still, I mean, you can see here, we're still hitting shells right in the top hatch of an E75. And they're both struggling to get anywhere near a pen on me. Look at this thing go. Run the, run the, uh, run the adrenaline now and just ruin their lives completely. Look at it. Have you ever seen something so hilarious? Are we actually going to miss this one? No, no, we're not. We got that one too. Um... When it gets four or five shots in a row, it just lays on so much damage. That mouse, I mean, little shots. You can see I'm always angling the tank. Snapshotting, zipping it, zagging it. And then when we want to push down and get involved, we do. I mean, right through the cheeks, why not? Crazy tank. Get it, guys. Get it. If you can get it get it it's so much fun it is just absolutely hilarious it won't save you from horrifically bad teams snake and i had a, a pretty bad run when i was filming this we had a whole lot of uh 40 percent even sub 40 percent players in tier x which is a bit rough when you get to tier x you should know better um because you really can do yourself a, a disservice running high tier tanks when you're not ready for it but be that as it may there you go over 5k in that it pretty much was the perfect game to illustrate just how accurate the gun can be, how ridiculously strong the damage per minute is, and how sneaky tough that tank is armor-wise. When the word gets out in the street that that's all spaced along the top, or if not spaced, I don't know what it is, but I've not seen the schematics of it, but it certainly looks like spaced armor to me, um, people are going to realize that this tank is legit and not to aim it anywhere near that area up top unless the gun's pointing up in the air. If the gun is actually pointing up in the air, which is a rare occurrence, you can shoot underneath the gun mantlet straight through into the cockpit with HE. Crazy, hey. Um, so keep your eyes peeled because it's an absolute showstopper of a tank. Enjoyable, very, very tough to take on, very tough to COD in the right circumstances, but once you get on its back, you can stay there if you're a good enough driver. Uh, the Object 263, get them while they're hot. Stay safe on the Battlefield team, and until next time, Bye for now.